Right. It's like a, a New York subway stopping at every stop, every couple of minutes. 800 people wow. get off the subway. And think about that. Everywhere, all there's, there's a city. Governor Abbott calls it a dereliction of duty. Senator Ted Cruz goes a step further. Listen here. Joe Biden deliberately, systematically broke the border and opened it up. The illegal aliens look for Border Patrol agents. They affirmatively turn themselves in. And the reason is the agents ask them, where do you want to go? And they respond, I want to be in New York. I want to be in Boston. I want to be in Chicago. I want to be in Dallas. And what happens? Joe Biden and his administration puts them on planes, puts them on buses, sends them to every city in America. Well, they've got a plan and we've got Team Fox covers. Carl Rove is live in Austin. Uh, Garrett Tenney is live in Chicago. Let's start, though, in the heart of the matter. That's Eagle Pass, Texas. And Matt Finn back on duty there. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Bill. As it stands right now, you might be able to make out behind me. Texas's razor wire is still here inside of Shelby Park. It remains untouched. However, the Biden administration has now warned Texas it has until tomorrow to allow Biden's border agents back into Shelby Park and the ability to remove Texas's razor wire as it sees fit. A federal attorney writes to Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton that the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Biden administration and ending a temporary restraining order that prohibited Biden's border agents from touching Texas razor wire in and around Shelby Park. The Biden administration in the letter to Texas reads in part, the Supreme Court restored the department's right to cut and move the concertina wire placed by Texas in order to perform their statute, statutory duties. In sum, we require full access to the Shelby Park area currently obstructed by Texas by January 26, 2024. Please confirm that the state will provide U.S. Border Patrol with the access described. Now, the Biden administration goes into detail about the access it wants. It wants access to Shelby Park, also the nearby boat launch and the International Bridge. For two weeks now, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has seized this hotspot for illegal immigration and kicked out the feds, arguing in part that President Biden actually wants an open border. Governor Abbott says President Biden's lawless border policies has allowed more than six million illegal immigrants to cross the southern border in the past three years. So Abbott has used his authority to declare an invasion, writing in part, that authority is the supreme law of the land and supersedes the federal statutes to the contrary. The Texas National Guard and other Texas personnel are acting on that authority to secure the Texas border. And this morning, the U.S. Speaker of the House and at least six other Republican governors from various states are backing uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott. And the Speaker of the House says the U.S. House will do whatever it can to support Governor Abbott. So the showdown continues. Yes, yes Bill, it does. Dana. Rubber's going to meet the road somewhere. Thank you, Matt Finn.